What's up everybody? Now a lot of you guys know me, but for those who don't, my name is Dan, and my channel's Dance Trains. So for those of you who aren't super familiar about what goes on in this channel, um, I'm a junior in high school and my whole mission right now is to kind of go back and kind of delve into a hobby that I was really interested in when I was a little kid and kind of really develop it. And my whole mission for like this channel is to eventually construct a pretty large um, O scale train layout in my basement. Now, I know it's kind of a daunting task because I'm going to try to finish construction or at least get mostly completed by the time I go off to college. So yeah, <laughs> it's a work in progress, but hopefully um, it happens. Anyways, for those who are familiar with this channel, I am so sorry. I know I was like gone for months and that's just because I had a huge school commitment and my family has been like renovating different rooms in the house and we've been throwing all our crap down downstairs. Yeah, <laughs> so that's not really good. However, yeah, in the next couple of like weeks, months, whatever, how long, ever long it takes, um, I will start to put up a table in the basement and yeah. <laughs> so I'm still pretty decided on utilizing the old track plan that I made a while ago. If you guys aren't familiar with the whole thing, don't worry, just watch one of my earlier videos. Um, Cause I think I might've done something about that, but I'm using my original track plan and in the future, when I have time, I'm going to start like designing and building some of my own structures and hopefully that'll be really cool. But enough with the talk. Anyway, since I've been gone, I've eh, kind of expanded a little bit on my layout collection. I know I splurge sometimes, whatever, but uh, here's what I got. Now take a look at this beauty right here. <laughs> this right here, my friends, is a... Lionel CSX Heritage Clinchfield Edition AC6000. Now, um, I saw a couple like running videos of this engine a while ago before I bought it, and I kind of like knew I'm like this thing is amazing, you know. So I you know went online and bought one. Um, but yeah, no, I got this because the paint job is like very eye catching. It has this stripe and. Uh, yeah, I really like it. Now, unfortunately, um, I'm not going to be like running this engine for like maybe this week or next week just because of how things are in the basement. But as soon as I get a test track downstairs, um, I'll definitely get this thing out like top priority. So uh, <laughs> yeah, just stay tuned in the future and like you'll see this thing run. Now I admit, um, <laughs> I kind of splurged a little bit because when I was online, I was like, what's the point of buying, you know, like a really cool diesel engine like this without getting the matching caboose? For all you avid model railroaders out there, I'm sure you know what I mean. <laughs> it's got a match. All right, guys. Well, <laughs> that was eventful. Anyways, so in the near future, um, I'm doing a running video of that Clinchfield AC6000, so I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, I'm doing a GoPro rig construction video because I know I mentioned that a couple episodes back and uh, I don't know a lot of my classmates were like yo Dan why don't you get that out man like yeah it's like oh I just didn't have any sort of like access to my workbench especially like when all this crap is in my basement so as soon as I get access to my workbench you know what I'm going to do I'm definitely going to make a video of just you know how to Basically, just make a GoPro mount on a flat car because I have the flat car and I have the equipment. I just haven't had the time and, or the space. <laughs> okay, so um, that basically just wraps it up for today. Um, please leave comments. You know, I love hearing from you guys. And my the whole point of this channel basically is to, you know, share my experiences and learning and all that other stuff with model railroading with you guys because, you know, a lot of my classmates, they kind of grew up with like model railroading and stuff, but they never really pursued it. And that was the thing, like for like, the longest time I was thinking like, should I really pursue this hobby? And then it's like, you know what? I don't got forever. So I just might as well, you know, it's cool. At least I think it's cool, you know? 
<laughs> but yeah. All right, guys. Well, that kind of wraps it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please like, subscribe, comment, you know, all that stuff. <laughs> um, I'm starting up a Facebook page and all that yada yada. So you'll probably see it on my channel within the next couple of weeks. Anyways, that wraps up for this video. My name is Dan. My YouTube channel's name is Dan's Trains. You know what it is. I will see you guys as soon as possible. And as always, I'll see you next time. Peace.